You know what, dog? You know what? You're now my new best friend. Let's have soft tacos later. But later. Right now, we are going boating. Okay, well, no. No boating, it looks like. Uh, I can't find a trailer hitch. So, yeah. So now I've changed. I've shifted focus, and now I'm out walking on the Hay River track and field here, right beside Diamond Jeunesse Secondary School. Recently, I got a viewer comment from Funny Trout saying, Could you show DJ? Because my sister graduated there. And I responded, I got my grade 12 there too. I'll add it in my next video. And so because I said that, I had to come and show the school here. But this school has some interesting history, so let's go over some of it right now. So you might have noticed that the school is purple. The reason why it is purple is because the very first graduating class of this school picked the color. And apparently purple was unanimous. That first graduation class too, they'd probably be in their 60s or 70s now. And then I guess for some reason they decided to keep some of the spots just silver looking. It makes it look almost incomplete when you see it like this. I don't know why. They should have just kept all of it purple. Another, another fact about the place is it has no real edges. Everything is curved. Now, I wouldn't say that it's not cornered. Like, I mean, you can have rounded corners, right? So yeah, like I, I would say that that is a corner, but it is edgeless. About 10 years ago, they did renovations to the whole school. And so it's slightly less purple. And uh, well, there's a reason why they did the renovations. The renovations, why did they happen here? Was it because it's old? No. In February, 2008, I was going to school here at that time. A substance thought to be asbestos was found below a heating pipe. According to the follow-up report by CBC North, the pipe insulation, the air samples, and the material did not, came, did not contain asbestos. Despite these findings, a report by Northern News Service stated that during the following spring break, a work crew had replaced all 300 pipes, uh, pipe elbows in the school because officials believe the insulation may have contained asbestos. I'm kind of surprised at how much information is on this Wikipedia, actually. <laughs> like, uh, found it in 1973. Right now, it has 29 staff, grades 8 to 12. It even says that there's 210 kids enrolled in the school year of 2020 and 2021. That actually seems kind of low. I remember there being like 300 people when I was going to school here. But also there's another school here in town called Ecole Boreal. And also now that that has a bunch of high school kids and that wasn't a thing before. I, I saw somebody running just now and I think I scared off uh, somebody sleeping in this corner. I should leave. Now this spot has changed over time. It's just really nothing now, but back in the day, this is where all the cool kids used to smoke at break time. I don't think smoking is as cool as it was, but when I was going to high school, that's where everybody cool used to go to smoke. I don't know if the kids smoke these days anymore, but when I was going to high school, it just seemed like everybody cool smoked. <laughs> or maybe it was that thing where because I didn't smoke, I just thought everyone was cool because they smoked. You know what I mean? I was just one of those people who thought smoking was cool, but I wasn't cool enough to do it. Right outside the school too is the track, which is another thing I don't really ever talk about, but we have a 400 meter track that's just outside the high school here and it holds the NWT track and field championships. So thanks to uh, Funny Trout there for recommending checking out the school. Had a bit of history and I've never really showed it in a video. So here it is finally. Now I'm going to go back on the track and uh, just keep on walking. So you have a good rest of your day. I'm going to keep on walking on the track here and uh, probably start getting to editing. Follow me on all of these. Check out this video and we'll see you in the next exciting adventures here in the north. Bye for now.